guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going into episode one of Forbidden Deductions. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So cute. <laughs> Damn, baby. Well, I mean, what else can you do? Of, of course not, duh. <laughs> Pretty. How long has it been since that picture has been taken? But he live all the way at the top? Oh, come on. Right. Uh, <laughs> I figured. <laughs> oh my god, that's his hair. <laughs> oh. Is he dead? Oh, okay, but Kitty! <laughs> hmm. 
Seriously? How do you live? Yeah. Mm. Baby, he truly is. But, you know, I mean, he's a god of, he's very useful, I'm guessing. And you still said no to all of them. Hold up, man. <laughs> You know, I thought L from Death Note had something weird with him, but hold up, this dude taking the cake. Right? At least hear him out. He just gonna lay here the whole entire time. <laughs> Poor cat. When did he have the time to put? <laughs> oh well, thank God it ain't break. I think so now.
Yeah. <laughs> You're not, and we're not taking over an answer. You're going. He's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Wait, you want to run? So you've been a hermit for years, you've just still been working out. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I mean, mm. that's all, man. Hmm. Maybe they, no, 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 no. think about it. it. It's that, like, that one thing. Where you put a towel over someone and you dump water over them to insinuate drowning, even though they're not in water and such. Maybe. He just had to make himself look pretty with his fucking ass. God damn. Is it weird that he kind of gives me Gojo vibes a little teeny tiny bit? <laughs> but then also, um, dude from the Millionaire Detective. <laughs> You figured it out already?
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you'll do fine. No. Hold up. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> she knock with No. I mean, you you probably done worse things. I mean, you know, you it's an OWG for for Christ's sake. So you know, you've gone into crazy ass things, baby. Right, right. Just go home. So you're telling me this bartender right here is the one who did it? And that's how he drowns them. Oh. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm hmm. So that, you know, he could kill you and, you know, take your quote-unquote money. I got a runner.
damn. <laughs> And I heard worse. You're either killing him for money or for something else. Uh, run. <laughs> these are boys with these damn blue eyes. To at least stop him so he can go to jail. No! You just told someone to jump. Did you really think he was good? I know. Please, before he also falls. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, baby. Okay, this was real. Oh, what? Well, damn, that's how we ended the episode? It's just nothing else? Oh, okay. Good. This definitely, like I said, it gives feels towards the Millionaire Detective and so many other shows where it is two guys doing something together and such, and you kind of shift them. Do I kind of shift them a little teeny tiny bit? I gotta give a little more feel to it, but they are, like, very cute together. I love the dynamic that, you know, Ichiki and Ron do have with each other, but, I mean, they're total opposites, and you think, like, damn, these two cannot work, but it works. We got another fucking man up in here with damn blue eyes. Him and Gojo would just be the best of friends. Like, shit. But the fact that Ichiki is also played by Yuji, it's just so freaking good. And I love it. I love the fact that he is also getting ish while season two of JJK is still airing and such. And so I'm just like, yes, I'm just so proud of him. I'm proud of everybody in that cast. And I hope, like, anything else that they're doing while JJK is airing or just after. They're all going to do great and well. But, like, this was really good. Um, a little slow paced at first, but still very interesting. Didn't think, you know, out of all, like, 
the five, the six victims that a barber would be the one for the first kill in the episode. But I think that's very different and unique because typically it's always just like a pickpocketer or someone who is stealing like money or stealing from the week, whatever. But technically, yeah, you still got that. But you got your killer instinct and stuff and why they were doing it. But I feel like going back to The Millionaire Detective where it's going to be slow paced for a little while until we get into our quote unquote main objective and such because Millionaire Detective really pretty much had that. But this is really interesting. It has some highs and lows at the same time, but it's really good. I'm very hopeful for this. And honestly, yeah. Enjoyed the hell out of it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all on Monday after when I come home for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.